It's an extreme challenge that's going global. Tough Mudder's assault courses push participants to the limit, but in order to tackle the military-style obstacles, you have to work as a team. Joining me now is Tough Mudder founder and CEO, Will Dean. So, Will, tell me how Tough Mudder works. Okay, well, first of all, let's start with what Tough Mudder is not. What Tough Mudder is not is a race. It's a challenge that's all about teamwork and camaraderie. It's 12 miles of military-style obstacles all over the country. We have 30 events here in the US and other 30 events globally, and it's designed to test you physically, mentally, but also hopefully have a bit of fun as well. And you get a free beer at the end of it. Amazing. And why do you think it's been so popular? Yeah, it's an interesting question. I think we tapped into a few things. First of all, people want to do things as part of a group. I think marathons and triathlons are pretty solitary for a lot of people. So it's a team thing. It's fun. Secondly, it gets you away from your iPhone. You have to leave that behind. You know, you have to disconnect. And again, it gets you back to your roots. You know, we live in this age where we're increasingly pampered and Tough Mudder forces you to test yourself physically and mentally. Third, fitness is a growing business. It has been for the last 30 years. And I think you put those things together, you have something that's you know, pretty appealing. And I think at Tough Mudder, we've always tried to have the most exciting, most innovative obstacles. That's you know, something that we've been launching this year, a whole range of new yeah, obstacles. Tell me a little bit about the sure. obstacles. What kind of things can people expect when they take sure. on the Tough Mudder challenge? Well, this year we have a completely new set of obstacles. So, of course, we still have some mud and they're still going to be running. But on top of that, we have a few big obstacles. So we have King of the Swingers, which is a uh, 12, uh, which is a pendulum swing. So you leap off 15 foot platform over water. You have to grab this pendulum. You swing forwards. You have to try and hit a bell in the air before you plummet into the freezing water beneath you. So we have that one. The one that seems to be getting all the press at the moment is Cry Baby, which is our tear gas obstacle. Uh, so you have to crawl into a box, a plexiglass. Uh, it's full of uh, a synthetic tear gas. It's not the real thing that you might use in a police protest or something like that. But it uh, gives you the same experience, um, but it doesn't last quite as long. It's perfectly safe. We've had it rigorously tested and you get through that. And then many of our obstacles have been updated. So Everest is our quarter pipe that people run up this year. We've redesigned that so it's got a lip on the top and it's designed to create even more teamwork and camaraderie. But we have over 20 new obstacles all in. Gosh, amazing. And then you've just done a deal with AB InBev to, uh, to sponsor the drinks. Tell me a bit That's about right. that. That's right. So as I said, you get a free beer when you finish a yes. uh, Tough Mudder. And we, you know, we believe that it should be an athletic challenge, but you shouldn't take yourself too seriously and you should enjoy your beer when you finish. So this year we're partnering with Shock Top, which is um, one of their wheat beers. Um, it's a great partnership. The brand team are fantastic to work with. We're also working this year with Cellucor, a nutritional supplements company, um, and Chipotle. So you'll be seeing a number of new partners uh, on site this year. Oh, nice. So you really get into the feel of things. Yep. And tell me a little bit about the expansion plans, because yep. Tough Mudder really is going global now, isn't it? It, it is. That's right. So we're already in the uh, UK, Germany, Australia, and Canada. But this year, we're adding Mexico. So we have three new events in uh, Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico City, and Monterey. And then we're also launching the Urban Mudder which is a city-based event. The first one of those will be this summer here in uh, New York City. Um, and then on top of that, we're launching the um, uh, Fruit Shoots Mini Mudder, which is a children's event for seven to 13 year olds. Obviously a little bit shorter. We're not going to shock seven year olds with electricity <laughs> or subject them to tear gas, but they're going to be going through many of the same elements. And the idea of it being fun, um, a challenge, but something that is doable if they work together um, is something that, you know, we had all these parents coming to us saying, you have to build something for our kids. So we did. So we have over 70 of those around the world this wow, year as well. Amazing. And any plans for an IPO? Um, that is an interesting question. Not right now. We're having a ton of fun. Um, and I think we have a lot of growth. International is huge for us. Um, we're expanding in terms of our events. We already have Tough Mudder, Mudderella, which is our women's event. We're adding, as I said, Urban Mudder, Mini Mudder. So give us another year or two on that and we'll see where we are. Amazing. So a lot of things in the pipeline. Yeah, very much so. My thanks to Will Dean, the founder and CEO of Tough Mudder. For The Street in New York, I'm Amelia Martin-Hempel.